hello so today in this video i'm going to talk about how to become a quant in the insurance industry right i've uh, talked so much about uh, in the banking industry uh, on this channel and i've uh, made quite a number of videos on how to become a quant uh, in the banking industry uh, but i have not uh, talked much about uh, the insurance industry right it's quite a big industry by the way right uh, and insurance is uh one of the most important industry um in the world of finance but it's uh it's not as uh, fancy as the banking world is or at least not perceived uh but uh, it offers uh, really good opportunities uh and uh, today in this video i'm going to talk about that that if you're uh, an aspiring quant and uh, you have interest in uh, insurance uh you can make a good career in the insurance industry uh, the funny thing is that i do not come across people who are really interested in insurance right people are interested either in in the in banking or uh, doing fintech uh, or doing trading asset management uh, you know consulting uh, on various uh, areas of finance but uh, rarely i come across people uh, who tell me that you know i am interested in in the insurance industry except the ones who write actuarial science papers I do not come across many who are genuinely interested in the field of insurance. Actually, it's quite interesting, you know, insurance, reinsurance, and there are various types of insurance um, products, and and they're quite interesting. It's just that uh, most people do not know about the insurance industry very well, right? Uh, except for your private, uh, let's say, health insurance or. Um, Uh, life insurance uh, people do not know much about the other insurance product uh, but there are like hundreds of different insurance products out there and you have insurance for uh, various things right uh, for collaterals for uh, you know all kinds of things you know you you give a loan to someone you can also buy an insurance for that right so there are like hundreds of types of uh, insurance products out there and if you actually go through when you go through uh the details about these products and when you learn more and more you will find this field to be extremely interesting and uh, very very challenging to model uh if you if you are a quant right there are many uh, aspects to take into account if you are building models uh for uh, you know for pricing for risk management uh for other purposes uh, in the insurance industry so if you are an aspiring quant you for uh, have strong mathematical background you have understanding of statistics you are interested to work uh, in the financial service industry but not too particular about okay i just want to work in asset management or in corporate banking you are not that too particular give it a shot that you know work for few years in uh, in the insurance world you can always uh, you know go to other fields you can always uh, move from uh, being a quant in, in the insurance industry to uh, becoming a quant in the uh, banking side uh, or uh, or to the uh, or in, in in a fintech or in asset management firm later on that's always uh, a possibility um, so do not um, so do not just uh, you know leave this field i mean as as if it is not a very uh, you know nice field to become a quant so how to become a quant by the way you know that's the topic of this uh, video so let's talk about that so the requirements are not very different actually you know if you um go through a job description on linkedin uh, on uh, you know quantitative modeling uh, job profile in an insurance uh, form it's uh, very similar to that of uh, a, si- a similar profile in the banking world there are a couple of differences and i'm going to talk about that right some uh, differences uh, okay let's first talk about uh, the similarities okay the similarities are okay you need to have a strong mathematical background you need to have good understanding of mathematics statistics you should have understanding of different statistical models uh, regression different types of regression uh, understanding of time series uh, modeling techniques understanding of uh, you know stochastic calculus understanding of uh, uh, machine learning uh having a strong background in um, you know programming and data analysis uh understanding of some finance like corporate finance risk management uh having some understanding of insurance so these skills are very uh, common between 
a, a quant profile in in the banking world to that of the insurance world but there are certain subtle some differences okay uh, in the insurance world uh, sometimes they prefer people uh, with a strong background in statistics actually if you have studied theoretical statistics right you have done a master's degree in statistics that always helps uh, reason is because um, quantitative modeling in the insurance world predates quantitative modeling in the banking world right and uh, you know uh, statistician in the 40s 50s and 50s, 60s they used to work in the insurance world uh, much before physicist mathematician or statistician uh, started working in the banking world uh, for um, uh, for doing the modeling work okay so there is a bit of a uh, a bit of a cartel there that uh, it's mostly a field um, you know surrounded by statistician okay uh, so that is something i have experienced uh, although uh, i see a bit of a difference nowadays but if you look at uh, people working in aig and and all those uh, uh, insurance firms most of them have either uh, an actual science background or a statistics background right but if you have somebody who has learned uh, statistic uh, even though you do not have a qualification in statistic you could still uh, make a career uh, there right uh, but you need to have um, knowledge of some statistical modeling techniques which are often not talked about in the banking world for example understanding of um, extreme value theory right extreme value theory is not very popular uh, modeling technique in the banking world although it's used in operational risk modeling but it's not so much used in other areas of modeling but that's quite heavily used in the field of statistics in the field of insurance okay um, pricing of insurance product itself is a is 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 a topic in itself right it it uh, it covers a, a number of things from the financial mathematics these details uh, uh, are not of uh, used in in the banking world so you, you in some job description you might find that there is a requirement of you having good knowledge of financial mathematics pension calculation again these are mathematical topics uh, which are taught in actual science but also in some statistic programs you learn these topics in detail uh, you know so you really need to then learn yourself right if you haven't if you haven't learned in in university uh, as part of your curriculum then you have to learn so that's one difference the other difference being there are some uh, niche statistical software used in the insurance industry legacy ones right uh, very old ones and some people still use that so that is sometime a requirement that it, are you familiar with this particular uh, software have you ever used it so that's the other one um, you, you will uh, also see that uh, in in these kind of job profiles sometimes uh, it will be an advantage if you have cleared a couple of uh, papers from the actuarial society. So if you have, you're not yet an actuary, but you have uh, cleared a couple of uh, papers from the actual society, then even that really helps, right? Uh, that is not strictly a requirement uh, in the uh, in the banking world. Okay, so these are some of these uh, some of the differences. Other other than that, I think the technical skills, right? Modeling skills, programming skills, data analysis skills, machine learning skills all that is uh, exactly the same uh, so there is hardly any difference okay but um, in terms of knowledge of uh, regulation right uh, it's there are similarities but also there are many differences between the regulations in the insurance world compared to that of the banking world okay so that's something you also need to prepare a bit question is uh, can you move from banking to the insurance world uh, if you have let's say five or ten years of experience in working as a quant or risk ma manager in the banking world can you move to the insurance world uh, it's possible uh, i myself have uh, received job offers in the past uh, from the insurance industry even though i was working in the banking world uh, it's quite possible actually right uh, right you may not be the preferred candidate but uh, but uh, you know you can try that's not a problem the money wise it's uh, it's as good as the banking world uh, in some cases even better okay so so there's this perception that uh, insurance is a bit inferior to banking when it comes to working as a quant is uh, is not correct okay so 
yeah that's something i wanted to share with you if you have questions more questions on this feel free to reach out to me and uh, see you in another video guys